As I covered in the previous video, things are moving in the right direction with Alvaro Morata's move to Manchester United. But let's be honest, it's a bit painful and slower than we all wanted it to be. But there are a few more updates to give you from the last 24 hours. So here is all the latest news on Morata. One journalist who has been quite quiet on the Morata to United move is James Ducker. He works for The Telegraph and for me, he is the most reputable British journalist. The one that still has a strong reputation and whenever he speaks about anything to do with Man United, you have to listen to what he has to say. Ducker says that Morata has spoken to Jose Mourinho personally to make it clear to him how much he intends to join Man United and how much he wants this move. And he also follows up the stories that started out in Spain that Morata has left his honeymoon to go and force a move to Man United by going back to Madrid and help him push forward the negotiations as fast as possible. Now the suggestion by Ducker is that Man United have offered £65 million but Real Madrid wants £75 million. Now this sort of falls in line with exactly what other reports have been saying the whole time. So there's nothing different there. It's just that Real Madrid are digging their heels in. But an interesting point that Ducker has to raise is that there is a suggestion going around that Real Madrid are doing this because they are still confident of trying to push a move for David De Gea. Yes, the De Gea rumours, I thought they had not died, but they sort of went away. Ducker's bringing them back. I don't know whether that means that they're going to come back in full, and I really hope they don't because I don't want De Gea to go anywhere. But the suggestion is there that maybe... De Gea is wrapped up in all of this, and that is part of the reason why it is taking so long. But back to Morata. Now, if these stories are true that Morata has gone and left his honeymoon, his newlywed wife, to try and help force this move to Man United, that is as big an indicator as you could ever possibly get that he wants the move. I would hate to have seen that conversation between him and his new wife. Oh yeah, I know we got married, but you know, can I go back to Madrid? you know, force a transfer through and leave you on our honeymoon. You know, she probably didn't take that news very, very well. But Morata clearly wants this move to United. As I've said previously, you know, he's 24. He's coming into a point of his career where he wants to be a focal man for a top club. And that will never happen at Real Madrid. He will always be third choice behind Ronaldo and Benzema. He can get that at United underneath a manager he's already played under, playing back in the Champions League and hopefully competing for the Premier League as well. It's clear he wants it. But what is also clear is that Real Madrid are not making this easy in any way, shape or form. Real Madrid really are striking me as a spoilt brat in this situation because let's be honest, Real Madrid always get what they want in the transfer window. If they want a player, they go out and sign him. If they don't want to sell a player, they won't sell a player. If they want to sell a player, they'll sell that player. Real Madrid rarely get turned down for either a transfer going in or a transfer going out. Now they are, because they don't want to let go of Morata. Morata wants to leave. When we signed Di Maria, that was because Real Madrid didn't want him anymore. When Ozil left, that was because Real Madrid didn't want him anymore. This is just a different situation that Real Madrid aren't used to. And it's great seeing them squirm, but they're making it a long drawn out process. And Florentino Perez sums up this attitude from Real Madrid in his latest comments where he basically denies that there's even any negotiations open between United and Real Madrid for Alvaro Morata. He said, I don't think we're in negotiations with Manchester United, which is not to say that there are people around him who are talking, which is normal. I've read that we have reached an agreement. I do not know how many million times, but it is not true. You know, for weeks and weeks now, press in Spain, but press in Italy, press in England have all been pushing Morata to United. It's the biggest, one of the biggest stories, one of the biggest transfers that will happen this summer. And Perez is now just trying to say, no, there's, there's no negotiations going on. There's clearly negotiations going on. He's just digging his heels in. And Real Madrid, you know, I don't begrudge them for doing this because if Man United had a player that we didn't want to let go of and Real Madrid were chasing and chasing and chasing, I would expect Ed Woodward and Jose Mourinho to make that transfer as difficult as possible. Especially if we had tried to sign a Real Madrid player and they hadn't let us get him, like the De Gea situation. But for fans, it's painful. For Jose Mourinho, he wants that transfer complete by July the 9th at the latest. That is when Man United head out to USA for our pre-season tour. He wants all of his signings done before then so that all the players can be linked together and start building that team unity that a pre-season is so important for. 
Now, will that happen? I absolutely 100% hope it does. But Real Madrid are certainly doing everything they possibly can to make this transfer difficult and drawn out for Man United. They may eventually let Morata go. They probably will. I say probably. They will eventually let Morata go. But they're trying to make it as much on their terms as possible. Alvaro Morata wants to leave Real Madrid. Manchester United want to sign Alvaro Morata. Once that fee is finally agreed, whether it be more towards the 75 million that Real Madrid want or the 65 million that Man United have offered, we'll see and we'll keep giving you the updates as soon as they happen. But this has been the latest update on Morata. As you can see, Florentino Perez is trying to deny that negotiations are even underway. Has Morata left his honeymoon to help force through that Man United transfer? And Morata wants to join Man United. It's just hopefully a case of when and not if. But that is it for the latest updates. As always, ladies and gents, drop a like on the video, subscribe to United People's TV if you're new, and get involved in those comments and let me know your thoughts. Until next time, take it easy.